All right, tubes. Got something interesting for you here today. Something a little different. It, you might think it's another truck video, but it's actually not. It's it's a uh, it's a radio video. So what I'm doing here is uh, I don't know if I mentioned in the last video or not. I got a CD player in this truck, and I actually I preferred the tape deck because I had one of those adapters. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think I got it right here. Got it right in my. Uh, I got one of these things, one of these adapters where you slide this thing in the tape deck and then you got yourself a, uh, a little uh, quarter inch or uh, eighth inch uh, cable to plug into your uh, your cell phone or whatnot for music and stuff. However, this one has the uh, the CD player so I couldn't do that and I wasn't going to spend 80 bucks on a uh, on an aftermarket, no way. And uh, even, you know, I was going to try and swap out for a tape deck but at the same time, I hate to go back to the old equipment when there might be times when I want to play a CD. So what I found was this little box of magic here, and it, this thing is actually pretty cool. So what it does, um, if you haven't ever seen one of these, is basically it's kind of like one of those FM transmitters that you, you get where you find a clear station and uh, you plug in your machine and, and it transmits to it. But the difference with this thing is it's actually wired in. I'm not sure why it says wireless uh, PLL synthesized on the front because it's not wireless, in fact. What happens is this, this, this uh, cable right here, this is your antenna coming in. From the uh, from the actual antenna, and this plugs into here, and that goes into your box, and then you have this uh, this other wire coming out. I gotta try not try not to knock my radio off here, um, and this plugs into the back of your radio. So what happens is is when you when you have this box off, it, it functions just as normal. You can listen to any station as you, that you want, and you can basically do the same thing when you turn it on. But the difference is is then it starts uh, synthesizing. And you choose a station. We got uh, 891 or 887. You find one that's clear or, or close to clear, and it just uh, it puts the music right on that station. So it's kind of like the, the way I thought of it is it's like if you took two CB radios together and you, you hooked them with a, a jumper, coax jumper together. Not that I would recommend doing that, but if you did that, it's basically the same uh, uh, the same uh, idea there on how it works. So either way, I'm working on installing it here. I, I got my, uh, I'll show it to you when I got it, when I got it done, but I got my power switch here. And for um, for power, I just came right off the radio. You can find out online which uh, wire is which. Um, so I just spliced into them, and that's how I'm getting power to this thing, because you do need 12 volts. And then uh, other than that, um, oh, the way you get your audio into it is it came with, uh, came with an RCA adapter on the back of it. Uh-oh. I think I hear my phone ringing. Small engine mechanic. Hold on, tubes. Hello? Hey, I'm Bill. Mike. Say hi. I'm filming a video. Say hi to YouTube. Oh, hello, tubers. How yeah. you doing? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Let me shut the camera off here. All right. Sorry about that, tubes. That was small engine mechanic. He's uh, he's getting ready for uh, him and uh, 805 Road King are going over to a show and they're we're going to stop by the house in a little bit. There's going to be a show real close. But anyhow, what I was starting to say is that to get your audio into this thing, you get you got two uh, RCA connectors here for your input. Now, what, what came with this thing was uh, like a 20 foot long uh, thing, a uh, cable with, with, uh, with RCA connectors on both ends. So what I was going to do is I had a, a donor set of headphones. I was just going to hack them up and make my own cable. But what I ended up doing is I went up to Radio Shack and I, I got this. This is a six foot cable. Uh, with RCA uh, connections on one end and a uh, uh, eighth inch uh, stereo jack on the other side. So rather than uh, spending an hour hassling and, and probably messing it up anyway, I just bought this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this. This is going to go up uh, behind the dash and it'll come into there and hook into my radio. And then uh, I'm going to Velcro this, uh, this little box here on top of the radio. And then uh, just tidy up my wires and we'll slide it in and test it out. So uh, give me a second here. I'll get I'll get I'll get right on that. All right, we got this thing uh, pretty much squared away here. I mean, there's not really a whole lot for me to show. The thing's velcroed to the top of the radio. Kind of just uh, tidied up my wires in there nicely, coiled them around a little bit and whatnot, and uh, got my audio plugged in there and coming out the bottom of the dash. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this thing in here. Get everything lined up. And uh, that's basically it. Of course, I have to put my screws back in and whatnot, but now we got uh, our audio wire coming out the bottom, all nice and fancy. And then when we want to listen to it, fire it up, all we do is flip the switch. 
Matter of fact, uh, if I can find my keys here, I'm not sure exactly where I put them. I think they're in my pocket. Uh, I will show you how it works. I'll just play them in one of my YouTube videos or something for you. So hold on a sec. All right, so instead of playing my own video on uh, YouTube, thinking that it's uh, not not my uh, not copyrighted to me, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play a station here. You won't be able to tell what it is because of this beeping. But I, like I said, I have that thing set to 89.1. So right now you hear some kind of music going on, but you, you obviously can't tell what it is. And then I flip this on. It could, totally goes away because that, that thing's strong enough to just drown it out completely. Whereas one of those, uh, I'll shut it off now. One of those machines that uh, transmit might not be able to do that. So it just totally drowns it out. And then you plug in uh, your music here and you'll be good to go. So that's it. That's how we installed it and uh, that's how it works. So thanks for watching. Hope you found it interesting. All right.